Good morning. Hopefully everybody had a fun and safe 4th of July. I'm going to make another video here. Since the last two, they've updated the Meteor Gist Sweet Installer with some current information for the DDE Tracker Config. And uh, they updated the frequency information in Orbitron for us. So we're going to click this download button down here. Click this button. We'll download it. I have it here. Downloads. Before we do anything, we want to go over to our C drive. If you have a previous version of Meteor GIS, we'll need to rename that folder to something, whatever you want put in here. Put a little underscore and another name behind it or a number. Just so we don't have no conflict with Meteor GIS and LRPT looking to the other folder with the similar name so once we've renamed that we can go to our download we'll extract the zip file we'll go inside there and we're going to copy this folder and we're going to paste it into our c drive All right, once we're there, we're going to open the Meteor GIS folder. And we're going to go to Orbitron. We're going to run Orbitron. Okay. First thing we're going to do, we're going to click this little icon right here for the configuration. In general, we want to click Auto so it'll adjust to our time zone. The world map, the little star that the satellite has is a little small for me. So I like to switch it over to the ISIS one. T8 updater. We'll go ahead and run that. Click OK. Everything else default here. In the extra tab, we want to put a check mark in auto start rotor radio driver. Now we're going to click apply. Click OK. Now we're going to go down here to location. We need to add our location to this. And then we'll add our Latin long. Got a couple feisty dogs in the background this morning. All right. All right, so now we got our let long. You can put a sign, you can put a name, whatever you want in here. Just to self-identify yourself if you want. Change your altitude. Now we're going to add that to the list. We're going to hit choose, and now I'm in the right spot. Now we'll go over to Radio Rotor. We'll make sure that we're on the satellite we want. You can see they've updated the information. You see when you first run Orbitron for the very first time, it says like 145 or something like that. So everything's good here. We can close Orbitron. Now we're going to go back to the main Meteor Gist folder. We're going to go into Meteor Gist. We're going to run the Meteor Gist Configurator. We're going to choose Default. And we're going to scroll down. If they ever turn infrared back on, I'm going to go ahead and check these just in case. Save your TLE. I like to save my TLE in case I ever want to go back and manually decode. Let's scroll down some more. Watermark. So the watermark is what puts that little information in a corner with the time of the pass and whatnot. And you can choose where you want it. I just leave it at the default. You can change the color, the size. We'll go down a little further. Draw location on the map. So yeah, I want a little mark where I'm at. So we got to put our latitude and longitude. I already have the latitude in the clipboard. Go here and get the launch to P 
paste that in there. You can make that whatever you want. I know it's a lot of the colors they use. Um, blue is one of them for like marking cities and whatnot. So I just choose another color. Make this a little easier for me to see. So I go up to like 27, 26, somewhere in there. And that's good on the program tab. Now we'll go to the LRPT decoder tab. So these links are no longer functional. Mr. Carl, US, US radio guy, was kindly uh, added a link to his website so we can get a current TLE. Now when you run the Meteor Gist EXE, this is the one we want and it's correct, but you'll still see that one error when trying to download this. <clears throat> we can go ahead and put his link in there just to get rid of that error so it's not catching your eye like, oh, something's wrong. I like to keep logs so I can go back and check what's going on. Everything else. My alpha and delta that's already set in here works fine for me. I got no problems with the coastal lines. So we're good here. Treatment, I've never adjusted this. I always just make sure to fill the black line in so it makes the image, in, image a little more appeasing. Shapes, there's a total of five. I don't know what the fifth one gives you. I've always set mine to four. So we're done there. We can hit save. We can close that. Now you want to plug a dongle. Make sure you have a dongle plugged in. We're going to run SDR Sharp. And if it doesn't have a, some of these older versions and the newer ones, if you don't have the dongle plugged in, it doesn't want to let you have certain menu options. So we're going to plug a dongle in, and then we're going to run SDR Sharp. All right, SDR Sharp. So... If you use an LNA, then once you're all set up, you're going to want to open SDR Sharp and run it. And you're going to want to adjust these two right here. So you got, you're not overloaded. So I use the Nolex Sawbird for Noah. And one, two, three, four, five, six. This six line gives me the same noise floor that I get normally if I'm just using my normal settings. So I like to put this one and this one on the sixth line. A tuner correction, if you know it, if you don't, go to like a Noah or somewhere and figure out your PPN. My PPN for my dongle is one on this dongle. And we're going to hit close. All right, on the demodulator, you want to go down to the bottom and on this configure and this recorder, you want to make sure it has the dot dot backslash S underscore file. So the demodulator and the decoder know where to look to put your S file or to read an S file. So if it doesn't say this, <coughs> you're going to want to hit select folder. And go to your main meteor just folder. You want to open, go into that, and you want to select the S file folder. This is a general; it'll go anywhere. But if you have if it if it says something different, then you need to direct it to this folder. And then we're going to go down to the track and DDE client. And we'll go ahead and take a look here. So you can see that they changed the frequency. Put the correct uh, demodulator. Everything's good in here. This is the current name. See, that's the current style name with the uh, 
DDE tracker config, you can't have this blank space, which is why there's an underscore between two and three. So we're good there. We can go ahead and not do any edits there and close that. We can close SDR sharp. So all those done, we should be good to go. All you should have to do if you're a desktop shortcut person, you know, right click, send a desktop, create shortcut, and then you're going to want to rename that shortcut so you can differentiate between your other Orbitrons and uh, only run this one. So now that we run this one, you open Orbitron. Orbitron's going to open SDR Sharp. We're going to use a simulation in Orbitron to simulate the time advancing during our day. And you can do this in minutes, hours, seconds. And uh, you're going to want to go ahead and I'll advance. Once we hit there, SDR sharp starts. Meteor just opens. Now, if we're all good here. Now, let's look at some other issues with some people. If you get to this point, you have a lock. It says there's a lock or you're not getting a lock and there's a good signal. If you got a good signal here and nothing's happening here, make sure there's a check mark in here you can put it in there while it's running put a check mark in there and then make sure this says stop if it says start click that and then you should see this thing connect it should lock and connect to your meter just and open up your lrpt decoder that's just something if something isn't happening right and you notice that there's no check and this says start if there's no check and it says start Put a check, click start. You should start getting your image. Other than that, we're good to go. Um, on a little side note, people have that been doing Meteor M2, M22 with no issues, and they had their folder in here that said, uh, oh, what do they say? Some of them say just Meteor, you know. The problem with those folders is, is so you'd have that Meteor folder and you'd open it. Most of this stuff isn't here. It would have the, the S file and the LRPT decoder. And it may have the Meteor just folder. But your SDR Sharp and your Orbitron folder would have been regular installs somewhere else in your system like programs or in the C drive and so when you would open this up the all these any files I know some people got multiple uh, decoder types all those any files and the configuration for the meteor gist would then all have to be go through individually and read and redirect, make sure the folder structure leads them to your individual installs of Orbitron and your individual install, your SDR Sharp. It's just, it's a lot of stuff to go through and edit. This pre-configured folder with everything self-contained is a lot easier and it gets you going. All right, hope that helps. I'm sure there'll be another update in the future. I'll put the link to... Les's website in there, and um, I'll put a link to, that's it, we just need that, everything else is done, you just got to put your Latin long and whatnot, you're some minimal, minimal work, so I hope this helps, I hope this gets you to capture an image, because that's what we're all about, is having fun, it's a hobby, it shouldn't be so much stress, so have a good day, and we'll see you again.